Yeah, I mean, people looked really awesome back in ancient Greece, and you know, now people are the people are the fattest uh, they've ever been. We have the more diets, uh, the most diets we ever had, and training programs. Yet people are worse. So they look pretty bad, man. <laughs> looking... People don't even know how to feed themselves. Yeah, I think it was stated that sixty-eight percent of the American population now is either overweight or mm. obese. Wow. Uh, I heard crazy. that the fattest country in Europe right now is Hungary. Uh-huh. I've never been to Hungary, so I don't know. But the second fattest is the UK. Mm. It's like 38% is overweight or obese. Uh, when I was in Croatia, they told me Croatia is the number four fattest country. Okay. I think Germany is number three. Mm-hmm. You see a lot of fatties running around here. Yeah. But it's nothing compared to the States. <laughs> I mean, when I go back, I'll be back day after tomorrow. I'm flying back tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. And uh, tomorrow afternoon, and uh, when I land at JFK, and I'm going through customs, it's going to be shocking. <laughs> I'm going to see people as wide as that couch you're sitting on. I kid you not, man. Oh, I mean, it's just utterly shocking when I go back to the states after being away for a while. Just the level of obesity. Yeah. yeah. And it's almost becoming socially acceptable. Yeah, people are getting used to it, I guess. Do you ever see the movie Wall-E? Yeah, yeah, it's really okay. Nice. It's like that. All, 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 all your customers out there, they should de- definitely check that uh, that animation called Wall-E. It's kind of like it's pretty good. almost like what the future may hold for humankind if we don't turn things around. And I do believe we can turn things around. Mm-hmm. And basically, I guess people, you know, call you skinny. You know, even if you're normal, you turn out to be the skinny one. You know, like why don't you eat more or <laughs> little and wiry? And, yeah. Do you also fast every day, like intermittently, or? Yeah, uh, I usually don't like to eat. I usually get up around six and don't eat to about eleven, sometimes twelve. Uh, I, I I like to train fasted. I think that's a really good way yeah. to. Uh, it's like a double stress. Mm-hmm. You have the stress of the training, and you have the stress of the fasted. Mm-hmm. And so fasted training does. I think it's very good for uh, helping older guys uh, reconstitute uh, muscle tissue mm-hmm. and keep fit. Mm-hmm. I think it becomes more important as you get older mm-hmm. than when you're younger. Uh, if I was to set, a, let's say for example, I was doing a performance-based workout where mm-hmm. I really cared about my performance, yeah. for sure I would eat first, some type, yeah. something for my energy. If it was important to me to go in the gym and set a personal record, mm-hmm. I'm not advocating fasting yeah. training. Yeah. Yeah. But for me, I'm not going for any PRs. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to momentary muscular fatigue, mm-hmm. and I like to do that fasting, and I find that it has a, a really good health Effect. Yeah, I, I mean, we live like that. The cavemen didn't have like a fridge in the morning, and, you know, and like uh, there's another funny story in uh, Joseph Campbell. You know him, I guess. Uh, his uh, his story, the writer. Yeah, the writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he mentions like the Indians making fun of uh, white people. You know, saying that uh, oh, white people are stupid. They have to look at the watch to see when they're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, man. <laughs> Which makes a lot of sense. I don't think a lot of people have ever experienced true biological hunger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They suffer what I call, uh, actually Tilden coined this term, habit hunger. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. eat out of habit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, let's say for example, they have lunch every day, 12.30. Right about just before 12.30, they start to get that ro- roiling mm-hmm. and that feeling in the stomach, like that gnawing yeah. feeling. And they mistake that for hunger. Mm-hmm. And they even panic if they don't quiet that that rumbling feeling. And they even begin to psychologically believe they're feeling weak mm, or yeah, dizzy. Yeah. You know, it's almost like self-imposed. Yeah, for sure. And maybe they feel those things, but it's totally unnecessary. Mm. And it's a habit. It's not even true biologic hunger. Yeah. You have to go about three days before you really know what true biological hunger is. And I bet You've most people... That, right? I, I have gone 14 days. Wow. 14. But... Uh, the Christ supposedly went 40 days and 40 nights <laughs> but there's been a lot of uh, great yogis and and uh, spiritual adepts that have gone really long long fast yeah. they also lower their metabolisms they lower them yeah. they, they well you're not supposed to train and work out when you yeah. do that my 14 day fast I didn't work out yeah. I just walked did some light stretching a little joint mobility I would lay in bed and take uh, a bed rest whenever I felt tired 
drinking lots of water. But my point is that if you go three days just drinking water, you'll know what true biological hunger is. And anyone that has not done that, then th what they're feeling is not true hunger. Mm -hmm. And there's no reason to get panicky and, and think that they have to eat. No one ever died from missing a meal. It's, it would be good for many people to miss a meal. It's pretty healthy actually, skipping meals. Especially like if I eat a lot, I'm gonna skip a meal. I'm not gonna eat because it's healthy to eat frequently. And a lot of people say, oh, but if I get too hungry, then I'm gonna overeat. I'm mm -hmm. gonna really pig out at the next meal. Yeah. I gotta just always feed the furnace so I, I don't get too hungry because I'm gonna have that chocolate cake and you know, a quart of ice cream and I'm just gonna really pig out and eat all this food. But that's more of a discipline thing. That That's just all emotional and mental yeah. reaction to the hunger. Yeah. But in truth, there's no reason for that whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And if people would just allow themselves to feel true hunger and experience what that is, they wouldn't be so prone to overeat all the time. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of fasting. I think women, uh can last a little bit a little, uh, less. Like I, I see that women do function a little bit better if they eat a little bit earlier in the day. But with men, I mean, you can go like for a lot of hours. For sure. There, there is a difference, uh, sex characteristic. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, there's a lot of secondary sexual characteristics between men and women that allow men to maybe be a little bit more resilient. But I mean, like you said, our hunter gatherer ancestors certainly didn't have a refrigerator. They didn't do some strenuous activity and say, oh, dude, I need my post-workout shake or I'm yeah. going to get catabolic, you know? I mean, it might be many hours before they would eat. They, they might have fought for their very lives or had some extremely strenuous survival situation. And they wouldn't, you know, they might not be able to get food for hours or maybe even a day or two. Yeah. But yeah. our bodies are made to thrive. Yeah, I mean, you have more, uh, like... A little food. Uh, hormones uh, that uh, give you more energy, like uh, adrenaline, all type of hormones and stuff. So you can function really good. You just yeah, have to get used to it. And it is getting used to it and realizing is I'm not going to be harmed. Yeah. I'm not going to die. Uh, I'm going to be fine. You can build it gradually and. Uh, yeah, work. just pushing that first meal back a little bit is mm -hmm. a really good thing. Pretty much uh, transcended my fear of death. For the rest of this awesome interview, click on the link on your screen or in the description box below and go to homemademuscle.com. Just to basically just get it down to the, the minimum. Wow, I was so much happier. I felt liberated. And I basically have one bag 